over now and maize farmers have voiced their opposition towards the intended importation of duty-free maize to Kenya from July this year. The farmers under the Cereal Growers Association say the move coupled with increased cost of farming and a non-consultative government approach will jeopardize food security by 2020. The 2019 planting season has been tough. Delayed rains and now the planned importation of duty-free maize in July has left a bad taste in the mouths of farmers. In some cases, government has shown clear preference for foreign farmers over its own. A case in point is being the maize government subsidy program not long ago when the government supported the procurement of maize from Mexico. The fall Amiwam invasion value-added tax on farm input apart from other levies has made matters more complicated niko kwa list ya watu 12 ambao wamefanyiwa clearance baka sasa hiyo pesa tuichaona the government has imposed 16% vat on all agrochemicals which is making it very hard for us to sustain a suitable cost of production for our maize utatumia 1500 zaidi kuikuza mahindi Kenya Uingereza Canada America ata kutolea mahindi gharama yake ikiwa ni kama 2023 the farmers opine that scandals in the cereals board contentious government policies on agriculture and climate change have now made maize farming similar to walking on slippery ground says is charge yes you are not involved in determining the rate and eventually you do not see what it has done our strategic food reserve is now in trouble because they are not going to raise 2 million bags for strategic food reserve. So we're looking at 2020. We should all be concerned about 2020, not 2019. The announcement by Agriculture CS Mwange Kiunjuri on the July duty-free maize imports has rekindled memories of the 2017 alleged Mexican maize import that brought to the fore questions on government commitment towards ensuring food security. Mark Namaswa.